Salut à tous les poppies, c'est Poppytox et j'espère que vous avez tous la forme aujourd'hui. On se retrouve pour l'épisode 26 de Gridfall et on continue la mission. Euh, on en était l'espion qui venait de Telem. Voilà. Allez, c'est parti, on va interroger le monsieur. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desardé. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nort called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba, what a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Okay. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... Oh, something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. Oui. A missionary camp near an island village whose name begins with Wench. He must be talking about Wench Xavier. Shall we go there? Mais bien sûr que nous allons Petrus. Petrus ou Petrus, euh, tout ce que tu veux. Alors. On va faire des voyages, des voyages, des voyages et des voyages, des voyages et encore des voyages et des voyages. Hmm. Voyageons. Par là-bas. Alors, par là-bas. d'après t'es itinérant voilà get down and listen it seems to me that it's our sleuth let me let me go I've done nothing wrong. Speak if you want me to release you. Where is she? I... I don't know. I'm thirsty. Give me water. You will have nothing until you tell me something. Have mercy. I'm dying. I don't care. 
If you die, I will just question another one like you. Talk! Where is the girl? I recognize this sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. It's Johannes. He's obviously still looking for Alba. He's questioning this man to find out where she is. We must intervene quickly or he'll kill him. Let me talk to him. Hey, who goes there? Yeah. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. And I was sent to find a young Nort, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. I see you folks at the Ordo Luminous are as subtle as ever. Why politely ask when we can resort to torture, hmm? <laughs> Only missionaries believe that these savages would help us without... encouragement. But why are you concerned by my methods if you're looking for this young woman too? I do not like the idea of leaving a trail of blood behind, Johannes. The case that sends us here far exceeds your petty mission. So you'd better leave. I made a commitment to find this young woman and bring her back to her father. I will not give up so easily. I have been promised a substantial amount of money. And I care about my reputation. Ha! Huh, your reputation? Your order has already lost the support of the Cardinal Mother for interfering with the Nords. And here you are again, involved in their business. You're putting nails in your own coffin, Johannes. Huh. I didn't see it from that angle. Well, I'm going back to San Mateus. I leave you this savage. Have fun, and happy hunting. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. Before. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wen Chavaye later on. Ok. Niveau 24. Alors. Soigne instantanément le lanceur. Ok. Bah, je fais. Bon, on y go, hein. On va passer par là. Ça c'est fait. You are the ones who saved me from Saul Lazar. Oh, I am so grateful to you. I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions. Okay. Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaixe to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But 
Right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the tenants. Did you want anything else? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you. And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? No. I must go. Alors. D'accord, elle est là-bas. Campement au bord de l'eau. Ok, c'est grand. Attendez. Hein. Alors. Impossible d'escalader. Faut que j'aille là-bas. C'est fait. On continue. Someone camped here. Probably the child. Sûrement. Ok, quelqu'un a campé ici. Attendez, hein, je charge juste mon téléphone. Voilà, c'est bon. J'ai plus de batterie. <coughs> Captain Ruben's logbook. Merde. We should search her. Ok. Euh, ok, je vous laisse lire. Going by Alba's diary, Ruben had planned his attack well. He began by putting pressure on her using her father. Then our investigation. It's because of us that she fled New Serene, and because of her father and Johannes that she left San Mateus. We were played like novices. The captain used us for his own schemes, and this girl is dead. He will have to report to us. 
We should return quickly to New Serene to talk to the Admiral. Okay. Allez, on se casse. Dommage, elle est morte. On va aller euh, par là. Attends. C'est ça. Bon, ben, on n'est pas arrivé à temps, c'est dommage. Après, je sais pas si on pouvait la sauver. Parfait. Ah, c'est bon. Je vais faire mon rapport. De Sarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alma and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew. But stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Interroge à nouveau son équipage. The investigation is progressing, Admiral. Hurry up, or I'm afraid you'll. Anything else? I need to be. Okay. Excellency. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? Uh. What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knob. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? Ah, oh, c'est bon. I'm afraid I need. Good day. What can I do for you? What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance, as if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... Uh, troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? Farewell. Hello, you need something. What do you think about Captain Reuben? Mm, between you and me, I preferred Captain Vasco. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit. 
if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. Okay. If he's a loner, it would make sense he needs some company from time to time. And as captain, he must have the means. Yes, you are certainly right. Well, none of my business. Anything else? I need to smooth sight. Faut que j'aille où là-bas? Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire des allers-retours sur ce truc Hello my darlings. What would you like then I was told that Captain Ruben liked you a lot and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Uh... Even if I offer you enough to enjoy one or two quiet nights? I would appreciate it. But I still cannot tell you the secrets between Reuben and me. Come on, it looks like you work hard here. And I'm not asking you to betray him. Just tell me about him. Well... It is true that a night's rest would do me good. Yeah. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? <laughs> oh yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Okay. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious too. Have you noticed him change? Yes. He's becoming. Did he tell you about his plans? <laughs> like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> But they all know that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. All that this young woman told us only confirms our suspicions. This man is a complete traitor. We should follow him after dark. We may be able to catch him in the act. Okay. Aft, c'est l'autre côté. See everything from here.
Allez, on le suit. Je sais pas où il va, mais... to arrest him. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. Regardez dans la boîte morte. The captain and his buyer should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. Let's put the message back where we found it. Better no one knows we read it. The Admiral will certainly want to know about our discovery. Let's go. Okay. Attendez. We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. Okay. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. 
I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. Men of the coin. Our greedy captain has gotten together with them. The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Alrighty. Maybe a light can protect me in the this traitor got what he deserved admiral you seem hurt it's nothing sorry to have charged like that i got carried away I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. Fouillez les cordes, capitaine. <coughs> In addition to a substantial sum. Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Disgusting that someone could accept a deal like that. And we're surprised that some officers are not respected. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Oh no. Ici. Come closer, good people. The cure and water. You'll find all you need. To Sarde. How were your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. We owe you a lot, De Sarde. I will not forget it, nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? C'est bon. I need to be good. <coughs> C'est bon. Donc, maintenant, <coughs> euh, parler à Petrus de son plan. I need to speak. Yes, Petrus. I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, 
What do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the St. Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest me. Okay. <rire> Alors, on va sortir de là. En bas. Good day. Welcome. You... I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No, no one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah, that sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat, and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the arena master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Deal. Here's the côté. time why so defensive Petrus you have a proposal to make I believe that's right I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich 
You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever, and that my ideas are always fruitful. They do say that you are devious. Perhaps too much so for your own good. Go on. My friend here loves the glory and sand of the arena. I've gained quite a reputation. Soon I'll be taking on a true champion. I'm no fool though. I know I won't last long against him. Yeah, I've seen the odds. Everyone expects you to lose within a minute. So what? Let us suppose that our champion is a little less aggressive than usual. If the fight can last at least five minutes, an informed better would win the jackpot. And I'd keep a little of my pride. Very well. I'll arrange it. But no dirty tricks. Don't take advantage of the deal and try to beat the champion. If you do, he'll wipe the floor with you. You want to get your money. Don't get too greedy. Bon. Attends d'organisation du tournoi dans 23h59 minutes. Du coup les amis, j'espère en tout cas que cette vidéo vous aura plu. N'hésitez pas à partager, à liker, à vous abonner et bien sûr faire ce que vous voulez. Je vous fais de très gros bisous et je vous dis à la prochaine pour un nouvel épisode sur Gridfall. Bisous les amis.